River? B, hey. I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I shouldn't talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. This is the place. Tick, 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 tick. Hey, V. How you holding up? Been better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Mm hmm. First, take a look. My name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244, we're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is LeVar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, LeVar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS News for developments in the story. This Peter Pan, he an old case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. Know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. What, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy-ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit.
They're not all wrong. Got a personal stake in this. And that's why I need an objective eye. You. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. Sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. Got access to these dreams? Not yet. But they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Okay. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh... Not through the main entrance. Oh, we're gonna break the law. We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. The lab's in the middle of an audit, so make all the noise you want. How are we gonna find this brain dance? I'll look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kids. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. Definitely don't store any BDs in this area.
Hey, River! Think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yoan! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. What did she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. <laughs> protocols? Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out now! Listen, you work with badges, right? You know what they're like. Feed them analysis, they'll shit out failure. This type of thinking is the very reason we live in a lawless city. Lawless? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. This man, he only takes. He never gives anything back. River and I get along. We're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. I thought us friends, too. That why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. I'd like to... Try audiovisual stimulation. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because, unlike River... I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try? Just go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic, in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. I'm more curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks.
Okay. Let me hear it. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a lead head, doesn't it? Yeah. That it do. It's just, uh... It's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Gang war. Huh. Great role model. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. Gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house. And I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. Want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line? Rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. I think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered. Yeah, these tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up. We find Randy, and we find the bottoms of a few bottles. It'll be my pleasure. <laughs>